Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the South Florida Tribune podcast. My name is Scott Morgan Rothel, along with Gary Cornblue tonight. I'm glad you can join us. We encourage you to stay around for the entire broadcast. There's no doubt in my mind you will learn something. So if you want any words of wisdom from me, get a pencil and a pen paper or a pen, whatever works, get a utensil that indeed works. Tonight's focus, folks, is on Medicare Advantage. And Gary Cornblue is a columnist for the South Florida Tribune. And you can find his work at www.selfwardatribune.com under the contributors writing section. So go ahead and look for it and you'll see all of Gary's works. With that said, Gary, welcome back to uh, the South Florida Tribune podcast, which is presented by Senior Medical Associates, the leaders in senior care. Once again, the focus of tonight's show is Medicare Advantage. Welcome back, Gary. Hey, thank you so much, Scott. Thanks for having me. Um, let me just start off real quickly by saying that um, Senior Medical Associates is truly the leaders in senior care, and uh, they are sponsoring my broadcasts. So I thank them very, very much. Okay. Um, well, we're very glad to have them on board for sure. And by all means, what you do is very representative of what is necessary out there. And we're really happy to have you on with your own show for sure, Gary. Thank you. Um, let me just say one last thing. They are a Broward County um, uh, um, senior care company. Right. So uh, just wanted to mention that. Right, and obviously your business goes beyond Broward County. I know that you're entitled to write business, obviously in Broward County, Palm Beach County, if you went as further north as Martin County, and I'm sure they'll even let you do it in Dade County. But the main thing is your emphasis is is a South Florida market. But regardless of where you're at, folks, whether you're in the Southern Florida area or not, there's no question that you can learn a lot from the content that Gary and I bring forth uh, time in and time out for sure. So regardless of what state that you're in, folks, okay, you're going to get an education regardless. With that said, let's get to it, Gary. What is the what is AEP and when does it start? For a lot of you folks who want to know about the uh, abbreviation, it's called annual election period. Okay, AEP is exactly as you said, Scott. It's um, it's an acronym. It uh, stands for annual election period, and it starts on October fifteenth of every year and ends on December seventh. And that's the time when you can actually change your Medicare Advantage plan or your Medicare Part D drug plan. Um, if for whatever reason your your plan didn't meet your needs last year. Um, again, that is the uh, the opportunity to uh, to change. And um, so, having said that, um, it's that hard and fast date. So put that on your calendar: October fifteenth to December seventh. And then, if you change during that period, you get a January first effective day of coverage on the new plan. Okay. Why should I change my current plan, Gary? You should. You should change your plan if there are many reasons to change your plan. There's all, there are also reasons to keep your existing plan, but there are also many reasons to change. Some of those are, I would say the most common one would be um, if somebody is in an HMO and let's say they want the, they want a PPO, because let's say they don't want to be, they don't want to have to get referrals to, to see a, a specialist. With a PPO, you, you don't require referrals. That's one benefit of the of switching to uh, uh, from HMO to PPO. The other reason is maybe you want exposure to a national network, okay? But now keep in mind, if you get those other benefits that the PPO offers, they do tend to charge higher uh, co-payments for their services versus taking the HMO. Um, so the HMO is where you are uh, you, you do have to stay within the network, but again, the co-payments are typically uh, very, very low. In many cases, uh, zero. Should I choose an HMO or a PPO? You should choose an HMO if, let's say, you don't travel very much, and let's say all of your doctors are in the network. And that's the first thing I do for my clients is I check to make sure that their doctors are in the network. Because when I'm asked what's the best plan, that's really the best plan is the plan that most or all of your doctors accept. So that's the first thing I do. Um, uh, again, HMOs typically have lower uh, costs across the board, but the caveat is you have to stay 
in the network. There's no out of network coverage. Uh, whereas the PPO, you've got the out of network coverage, you've got no referrals and access to the national network. So one, you know, some somebody could be more suited to the PPO, they maybe travels more, and somebody may be more suited to the HMO. So everybody has individual needs. So uh, we would determine that at the uh, the time of uh, appointment. So can I go to any doctor in the country? Uh, can you go to any doctor in the country? Yes, if you have the HMO, oh, excuse me, the PPO. Because remember, the PPO uh, offers, in most cases, most plans offer national coverage. So with a PPO, you can go to any doctor, any specialist, any hospital, as long as they're in that company's network. Could, could be United Healthcare, could be Humana, whatever the case may be. Um, uh, you, know, you would still have to stay with, within that network. Now, on the HMO, um, you would be able to get coverage out of, uh, out of your regional area. But it's only in the, in the event of a medical emergency. So regardless of where you are, most plans do offer um, even worldwide coverage for both urgent care and emergency care, regardless of where you are. Very good. So how much do I have to pay in Medicare for a Medicare Advantage plan? You, um, so everyone that has Medicare pays the part, there's part A, part B, and part D. So part A is hospitalization, part B is, is medical, doctor visits, specialist visits, and let's say part D is for drugs. Um, so the cost uh, would be, so everybody that has Medicare pays a part B premium of 148.50. That's the premium for, for 2021. Now, there are also some cases where if you have a very high income, you, you can be subject to what we call an IRMA. It's an, um, an income-related monthly adjustment amount. So based on your income, if you have high income, you could be required to pay more than that, that 148.50 per month. And there's a, and there's a sliding scale. So I would help the, uh, my, I help my clients determine exactly what their cost is. The other cost really is just the co-payments that you would pay while you're receiving services. Okay. Do these plans give me coverage for dental or vision? They do. Medicare Advantage plans do offer ancillary coverages such as full dental, um, which includes your preventative, the exams, cleanings, and x-rays, and also comprehensive dental, which could be fillings, tooth extractions, um, root canals, uh, bridges, and crowns. So you do get um, uh, you know, comprehensive dental as well. Um, typically, plans only cover up to 1,000. Usually, the typical plan is about $1,000 of annual benefit. It doesn't seem like a lot, but at least um, it's, it's pretty typical though, even if you go outside of a Medicare Advantage. Um, and then of course, vision coverage, yes, they, they do have vision as well. And uh, the co-payments are typically zero for the doctor visit. And then you usually get a month, you usually get a stipend, the typical amount is $200 toward uh, lenses or frames uh, every year. So. Uh, it, 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 it can vary slightly between companies. And then one other um, benefit that people do use is the hearing benefit too. So it can cover you for hearing aids as well. So there's a nice benefit there. So let's talk a little bit about vision. I've had two cataract operations. I know a lot of people nowadays are forced to have cataract operations. With that said, how much can this vision coverage cover in terms of the cataract procedure? Okay, um, and that's an interesting question because it doesn't fall under the vision benefit. Cataract actually is surgery and falls under the hospitalization benefit. So uh, you would, act, in that scenario, Scott, you would actually be uh, covered subject to applicable hosp inpatient hospital copayments. So uh, some carriers, you know, many HMOs have zero uh, copayment for 
uh, inpatient hospitalization. Whereas the PPOs, you may have to pay a, 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 a per day copayment. Let's say it's you know anywhere between 150 and 250 dollars per day, anywhere around maybe it's usually five or six days, and that's the maximum. Once you've paid for that five or six days, you're done. Um, so it depends whether you have the HMO or the PPO, but it, but again, it actually falls under the um, the the inpatient hospitalization coverage. If you're in if you if you remain as an inpatient, if you're an outpatient, if it's just the same day procedure, which I believe they are, I believe they're same day procedures, then it's just a uh, a copayment. It's just a um, an outpatient copayment, somewhere okay. around one fifty two hundred dollars. We'll take this a step further now that we're talking about cataract procedures. I've had retina surgery, a torn retina before. And of course, lots of folks have detached retinas. So where do those particular procedures fall into this situation? So it, again, if it's surgery and it requires an overnight stay, yeah, it's going to be covered under the hospitalization benefit. Right. Yeah. In other words, the vision part of the coverage is really for your, uh, your optometrist, which is really the person that fits you up for eyeglasses, you know, give you uh, a prescription for your eyeglasses. Whereas things like cataract surgery and retina, retina eye surgery, really that's typically, those are typically procedures that are done in the outpatient or even at the inpatient level. So again, um, it would be covered under the hospitalization benefit. Yeah, because, you know, that's a good point. I know a lot of people, I don't care what age you are, whether you're 30, 40, 50, especially as you get a bit older, we all have to deal with these eye issues. Uh, that's why we have these things called four eyes glasses. You know, they kind of help you out a little bit. And I think a lot of our audience, regardless of the age bracket, Gary, certainly would like to know a little bit about the uh, vision part. I'm glad we have an opportunity to get into a little bit more details there, in addition to the fact that you've talked about the hearing as well. So with that said, if I have a Medicaid uh, can I still qualify for a Medicare Advantage plan? If you have Medicaid and you're eligible for Medicare, in other words, you have a Medicare card, that's actually a very good scenario for you. I mean, even though it's based on income and it's typically people that have lower income, um, it's actually very good coverage because it's called, a, generically speaking, it's called a Medi-Medi plan. What, whatever Medicare doesn't, cover Medicaid usually picks up the, the tab. And what's nice too is that your Medicare Part B premium with that 148.50 is typically paid for, uh, as well as a pretty hefty uh, drug subsidy, where in most circumstances, your most expensive drug is, is under $10. Um, so yes, if you have Medicaid and Medicare, you actually, um, it's the technical term is a dual special needs plan. Dual because you have Medicaid and Medicare. And then it's a special needs plan because it's for people with, you know, with special needs with lower income. So they need more help. These plans are typically zero co-payments across the board. Um, usually very, they're usually the top plans in the state, the people that have Medicaid and Medicare. So if I have a chronic illness, can I get a special plan? Um, if you have a chronic illness, uh, yes, you actually can. Uh, regardless of your illness, everybody qualifies for Medicare Advantage um, because there are no pre-existing condition exclusions. Every, it's, they're guaranteed issue plans. Everybody gets coverage. Um, however, um, the chronic illness that you ask, is, that's a good question because there are actually specific chronic illness plans that are available for people that suffer from from let's say heart, to be, uh, heart disease or diabetes. So these plans can be a little bit more kind in terms of the uh, of providing lower, uh, lower co-payments for these, some of these very expensive medications uh, to treat diabetes. So um, if, if, and it's called, and it's actually called a chronic illness plan. So yeah, you actually can get a chronic illness plan if you have a certain type of, of chronic illness. Let's stay with the trending subjects nowadays, Gary, before we continue with the broadcast and talk about COVID-19, the Delta variant. Has any of that stuff impacted a lot of what you're dealing with at the moment right now? Because I know that there are long-term effects of COVID-19 that could lead to additional headaches. I know that it's a mind-boggling subject that we all really wish I didn't have to talk about. So many people have lost 
family members. I know our the head of our group, Warren Drucker, unfortunately, rest in peace to the close individual associated with Warren Drucker, let alone everybody else that's been affected by COVID-19. But well, where does COVID-19, Gary, fit into the picture here? Well, it's um, COVID-19 has put a tremendous amount of pressure on the health insurance industry, particularly on the medical industry, the hospitals, the doctors, all of the frontline workers. I mean, God bless them. Um, it's, 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 and uh, it's, it's terrible. So I guess you really just, from a logical standpoint, you just need to follow the science. And, um, you know, look, even during the 1918, what was it, the Spanish flu? Right. You look at old pictures, you'll see people doing what? Wearing masks, right? And social distancing. It's really no different than it is today. So if people would, would get on board and, 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 and even get, get the vaccine, because we know that the vaccine is, is effective. I mean, if you have your choice between COVID and the vaccine, you know, um, there are certainly far less side effects associated with getting the vaccine. I mean, the COVID could, could potentially kill you, especially this Delta variant. So yeah, it has, it has really impacted the industry so much, Scott, and it's, it goes so far beyond even the health insurance industry. It's created, you know, bottlenecks in, 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 in the supply chains of pretty much every business across the board. So it's really put a tremendous amount of pressure, but I think we could get a hold of it um, and future pandemics if everybody would just pull together and get themselves uh, inoculated. Um, so I think we just, you know, Maybe it sounds too logical, but I think we just need to follow the science. The scientists are the professionals. The scientists and epidemiologists know uh, they can predict certain things. And I just think we just need to, to, to follow their guidance and the guidance of the CDC. Yeah, folks, we're not here to get too political. Either get the vaccine or die. So that sounds pretty straightforward, right? Because the amount of casualties that we've had to deal with during COVID-19 go beyond what we want to even talk about and the way it's impacted other people's lives. I know that we're talking about Medicare Advantage, but I, I also feel a responsibility to everybody out there listening that we're here to educate you on health insurance as well as Medicare Advantage and, and the other subjects that we're talking about as well. So folks, get the vaccine. Let's not let politics supersede common sense. Makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So we'll segue over to the fact that I've heard on TV about these give back programs. What are they and how do they work? Uh, give back programs? Yes, they. I, I've seen them myself on TV. Um, and they can be really good. I have clients in, in these give back programs. But what it is, is it's a Medicare Advantage plan. But what, 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 what these carriers do is they'll actually credit you monthly with, let's see, I'll pick a number, $95 a month. And it gets credited right to your Social Security account so that your net payment, instead of being $148.50, your net premium, your net amount that's drafted out of your account turns out to be about $55. So you only get charged for the difference. So essentially you're adding another $95 a month back into your social security. Um, so these give back programs are, can be very, uh, can, can be very um, attractive to certain people. Um, it's usually, it's typically people that don't really go to the doctor very much. They don't really use their plan very much. And um, you know, why not, why not take a give back and, and, and save nearly $100 a month? essentially have a hundred dollars a month more in your so in your social security to spend um and uh usually these give back programs just a side note if you take a give back program usually what the carriers do is they will raise the co-payments a little bit higher because let's face it folks there's no free lunch i mean if you're getting something in one area you know, the carriers typically take back in, a, in another area but I do have a few carriers that I do deal with. Uh, one in particular that actually has, you know, it's very similar to co -pay, uh, HMO co-payments and with a give back. So there are some carriers with some very attractive uh, give back programs. And some of my clients really like that. So if somebody already has VA coverage, but they also have Medicare parts A and B, should they enroll in Medicare Advantage plan? You said someone has VA, uh, VA coverage, right? Um, 
Yeah, if if even if you have full VA coverage, and you but you have a Medicare card with Part A and Part B, your red, white, and blue card, you you can still per, you can still enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan. In fact, there are actually specific plans uh, that are designed for these types of individuals that already have have VA coverage. What they do is very clever. What they do is they exclude um, the Part D coverage, the drug coverage, because this VA recipient already has VA drug coverage. Um, so what they get is they actually get a Part B uh, credit for their the, for the one forty eight fifty. So because they're giving up the drug coverage, they're actually getting something. Remember, if you're giving up something you know, you're probably getting something in return. So they're giving up their Part D because they don't need it. They already have VA drug coverage. But in turn, they're getting their Part B uh, essentially paid for through that credit. So uh, yeah, so, so VAs, you know, can get these very attractive Medicare Advantage plans. Yeah, by no means can we uh, have a broadcast without talking about veterans at all. I mean, we certainly are thankful for what they've done over the years in terms of providing their service. So we want to make sure that everybody that's conceivably able to be talked about indeed does. Just so you know, the South Florida Tribune podcast is presented by Senior Medical Associates, the leaders in senior care. My name is Scott Morgan Roth, joined by Gary Cornblue. Gary Cornblue is our Medicare expert. He also goes ahead, writes about health insurance for the South Florida Tribune. His column can be featured under the contributors writing drop down here on the South Florida Tribune. If you want to find Gary's work, www.southfordatribune.com gets it done under contributors writings. Gary does write a column for us. So by all means, in addition to what you get with these shows here, you'll certainly get a lot of excellent content as well. The South Florida Tribune can be followed on social media, on Twitter at Tribune South. That's at Tribune South. So by all means, follow us there. Scott Morgan Roth, I can be you can find me on LinkedIn. It's Scott Morganroth. And of course, so it's South Florida Tribune has a Facebook page as well. So Gary, you know, as we put a uh, ribbon on this broadcast, uh, are there any particular things that you feel that you want to add to it that we haven't discussed already? Because I know you've covered it quite well. And I feel very good that we even address COVID-19 to some extent. But I always believe that we don't want to leave any stones unturned. And with the information that you've given us here, are there any stones that we don't want to leave unturned? Well, let me mention one thing since you asked. I'll say that the other Medicare strategy is, is ha just having your original Medicare, your A and B, and then right. purchasing a supplement. So that so that is that is another, there's pretty much two strategies, Medicare Advantage or original Medicare and a supplement. Those are kind of your two choices. So what we could always do, um, you know, uh, a podcast on Medicare supplement plans too. That could that could take up an entire podcast for sure. Well, by all means, that's what the whole idea is. We want to educate everybody one show at a time. And if you didn't hear me at the top of the broadcast, I encourage you folks to go out there, grab a pen, get a pencil, paper, write down some notes. These notes are very valuable. The thing I can say about Medicare Advantage is regardless of which state you're in, it's a universal language. I don't care what you talk about, where you're at, Maybe the terms might vary from county to county, state to state, but Medicare Advantage is Medicare Advantage regardless of where you live. And I'm very proud to have Gary Cornblue as my co-host on this show. There's nobody better than Gary Cornblue. You've been doing this for how long, Gary? Um, um, I've been doing in church for 32 years. A long time, folks. The man's got over three decades worth of expertise in the area. And now he has an opportunity to go out there and give it to the national audience to share his expertise to you. If you want to email Gary, you can feel free to email him at SouthFloridaTribune at gmail.com. Gary, with that said, why don't you give some of your contact information to everybody out there as well? Sure. Um, this number to reach me is my, uh, actually is my cell phone, 561-305-5949. It's on 24-7. I'm always available to speak. And I actually do get people that call me on Saturdays and Sundays, and I don't mind. I enjoy what I do. Uh, my web address is www.medigapx, that's M-E-D-I-G-A-P-X.com. Uh, browse around, click on my testimonials tab. Uh, you'll see my uh, many five-star reviews. 
Um, and uh, let me just say in, in closing, I just want to, one more time, I want to thank senior medical associates. Again, again, they are truly the leaders in senior care. They take good care of my, my mom and dad. And uh, they can be reached at 954-659-9690. Uh, but better yet, go to southfloridatribune.com. Again, that's www.southfloridatribune.com. You can click on contributors writings and, and the drop down. you'll see my name, Gary uh, Cornblue. Uh, you, can, you can see my, my articles there. And of course, you'll, you'll have my contact information and you'll also have uh, the contact information and web address for senior medical associates. Um, and uh, with that said, uh, Scott, I just wanna thank you very, very much for having me on again. Uh, we'll do some additional podcasts going forward. Again, we mentioned Medicare Supplement, and also stay tuned for the very popular Part D or Donut Hole. That could absolutely take up an entire podcast. Stay and another, tuned, folks. And one thing I should add before we close, folks, if you Google Gary Cornblue's name, K-O-R-N-B-L-U-H, you'll find that some of his stuff is appearing on Google as well. So. You know, once again, the South Florida Tribune podcast is presented by Senior Medical Associates, a leader in senior care. Once again, my name is Scott Morganoff. Glad to be joined by Gary Cornblue. Hope you stayed on for the entire broadcast, which we definitely think you should, because there's a lot of good information. We certainly don't want you to miss out any information that can affect you, yourself, your, you, your spouse, your family, friends, or whatever. So we want to make sure what well, we, our goal here is to give you a very informative broadcast that you can come back week in and week out so that you can continue to learn. Knowledge is power if it's applied. With that said, okay, uh, we want to thank you for joining us here on the South Florida Tribune podcast. Until the next time. So take care, everybody. Be safe. And we look forward to catching you the next time around. Good night, everybody. Take care, folks. <laughs>